Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the GSI Outdoor Glacier Stainless Toaster. All right, everybody, welcome back. Now, toast may not seem like something that is survival necessity, you know, but um, as far as keeping normal, maybe using this in your home on a propane stove when the power's out, stuff like that, hey, you know what? It's a handy little device. It's kind of cool. And it also has more applications other than toast. You can make grilled cheeses on this. You can warm up tortillas on it, whatever. So that's one of the reasons I'm reviewing it today. Not to mention it's kind of a neat outdoors product. And if you're going camping, it's definitely something you can take with you and use. So it's super small. As you can see, it falls flat here. And I have used it before. We've tried it out once before. It's super small, folds flat, could fit toast on it. You could do a tortilla, like I said before. Just move it around on the fire to keep it evenly warmed up. You'll see why in a minute. I'll explain that to you. And the included pouch is really nice, too. It's a nice touch. Makes for a nice, very small, very lightweight package. It's uh, 6.3 ounces. Measures 6.7 inches by 5.7 inches. And it is 0 .0, 0 0.5 thickness. So it's super thin, super lightweight. So it's not a very heavy bunch of gear to take with you as opposed to that Coleman stove we reviewed a couple years ago. It was a big round thing with the things on the side like this and much heavier. Now you can use this with a diffuser over an open flame. I wouldn't recommend this for over um, wood fire just because it's kind of hard to control the flames. So that's where I'd say if you're going to use a wood stove, probably use a diffuser over it or you'll have to kind of, let me pull it back and show you how it assembles. See, it folds flat so you'll fold it up. You'll push this piece down in here and there you go. There's your toaster. Now you'll notice the grid on the bottom here, this mesh, and you'll notice it's discolored because I've heated stuff up on it before. This is what's going to do your toasting. This is what you want hot. You don't want a flame pushing through here and coming up through burning your toast. So you'll be kind of moving this gently over your fire, and we'll demo that in a minute. But all in all, I think it's a pretty nice product, uh, very well made, very handy, kind of a neat, innovative outdoor product, and uh, definitely something I wanted to bring to you. I've had it in my wish list for about a year. And, you know, because I said before, I kind of thought, well, is this really necessary? You know, and I'm like, well, it's something I'd, I'd want, you know, if I was going camping. So I guess it's kind of cool, kind of handy, and a nice way to make toast during a, an extended power outage or some kind of SHTF situation. And kind of handy, too. Give it style points on that, definitely. So... What I'm going to do with it is we're going to put out our little propane stove. Now, I'm just going to use a regular everyday isobutane stove like this. Okay? And we're going to set this up very low. And the reason I'm using this one is because it simmers really, really low. We're going to set it up, and we're going to try and make some toast with it. And we're going to butter it with... I made this up last night. This is some Thrive Life butter. Kind of reminds me of the, the butter you get in the tub, you know? Um, this is what it looks like. It's powdered butter. And you just mix it up with water. So we're going to butter our toast with that and see how we like it. I love that stuff for baking. I love it for um, using it on products like we're going to do today. I'm not such a fan of using it in pans to lubricate a pan. It tends to burn. But as far as that stuff goes, as far as using it as actual butter, awesome product. So let me get this all set up here, and uh, we'll start toasting our toast. All right, so I got it on a metal stand there so I don't melt my surface here. We're going to turn it on. Now I'm going to turn it up high. You definitely don't want it that high when you're making toast. What we're going to try to do is bring it down as low as possible. Kind of like that. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera. But you'll notice, I'll turn off the lights if you can't, you'll notice that this bottom grate will get hot. It'll get red hot. So let me see if I can turn off the lights here quickly. And show it to you as it happens. Let me turn off the other side light. Here we go. You see it glowing. See it glowing in the middle there in the reflection? See? So that's really what you want to heat up. And I kind of like to do this ahead of time and heat this up ahead of time. So I'm going to kind of stick it here for a quick second and turn the lights back on. And we're going to put some toast on there. Now I'm just using regular whole wheat toast today. You just sit it on the top. And we're just going to toast it. And this is why I say I recommend moving it back and forth a little bit so you get a nice even, um, even toast. You don't want to have that flame tearing through and burning the toast. You can start to see it 
smoking a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, well, I'm actually getting a little brown on the bottom there. You can see a little smoke coming up off it. Remember, you're not trying to burn it, you're just trying to toast it a little bit. So once this side is done, I will finish it up and show you what it looks like when it's all finished. But I'm going to show you this side live, just so you see how it comes out. Let's take a look so far now. Yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of toast on the back. I'm going to move it to the back here and do the sides. And that's the biggest thing. If you stick this and just sit it down like this, it's going to burn in the center. You don't want that. You can set it down a little bit at a time and move it slowly. Like that. Well, let's see. Okay, there you go. Look at that. So now we're going to do this side, and I will bring you back when that is finished. And I'm going to do another piece after, and we'll have some toast, and I'll give you more information on where you can pick this up and uh, how much it costs, because it's really not all that expensive either. All right, there we go. I'm going to turn that off all the way. Take that side off there. There you go. I'm going to butter it a little bit. I already tried a little piece here, and this is the Thrive Butter that I'm using. Really easy to spread. Now, what I do with Thrive Butter normally is when I mix it up, I kind of mix it up by eye. I just put a little bit in there, kind of mix it up together by, by eyeball, and uh, see how it, you know, I get a little bit of a margarine kind of consistency see how it comes out and then I put it in the fridge for like a couple hours this hasn't been in the fridge all that long so it's still kind of runny but when you put it in the fridge for about mm, an hour comes out nice and thick like margarine sort of that's consistency but the taste is really good so try it out yeah I mean what can you say that's toast <laughs> I think it worked pretty well here's a nice even toasting on it and like I said you can use this for tortillas you can use this to make grilled cheeses if you want to put it on top there with two pieces of toast and some grilled cheese. You can do a lot with this. So it's really kind of an innovative product. Very inexpensive. I think they go about $12.95. So for $13, bucks, you have yourself something like that. What I'm going to do, you'll notice there's a couple little bits of toast in there. And that will happen. That's perfectly normal. And you'll notice the discoloration on it as well, although it's a little more even now because I kind of evenly did it everywhere. Um, what I'm going to do is let this cool off. And it cools off quickly, by the way. It's already kind of cool to the touch there. It's, uh, yeah, not too bad. I'm going to let it cool off, show you how it comes apart, and uh, we'll wrap up the video. All right, so it's completely cooled off, cool to the touch now. And what we're going to do, what I do, is I'll just wipe out the crumbs in there. No big deal, they can, they're going to burn right off next time. You're going to push this back piece in like that, fold it down, and close it. And that's it, that's simple. You have your case here. Put it away. And you can see, if you're going to use this on a backpacking trip, it's definitely small. Even in a bug out bag, I mean, I know it's kind of extra weight, and toast definitely isn't a necessity, you know, in a bugging out situation. But there's lots of ways to use this. You can use this to heat up tortillas from an MRE. You could even use this almost, probably if you were careful enough, to heat up an MRE entree. You take it in the, the, that little foil bag and just kind of run it over the heat using this. It kind of radiates heat. So it definitely has its purpose. I'm probably going to use it as a toaster when my power's out. Uh, stick it over one of my Coleman stoves and uh, use it that way. But it definitely serves a purpose. Definitely a cool little product. And really not all that expensive at 13 bucks. I will put a link down below. You can check it out. Um, it's on Amazon. If you find it somewhere else cheaper, by all means, use that link. You know, I'm not trying to tell you to shop only in my store. Um, if there's nothing in my store you like, just click that link and shop as you normally would. I really appreciate that. And a little bit about Thrive Life. They are slowly getting back up to stock on their popular items in very good quantities. So they're giving everybody here a thank you. They're giving you up to 35% off your entire order. So any customer, new or existing, can use the coupon code in all capitals, THANK YOU, all capitals, one word, at checkout, and receive 15% off of the delivery service, but an additional 20% off as well. So, that's 35% off your whole order. Offer expires December 14th at midnight. So, if you're watching this in December of 2020, get your orders in now. Check it out because that's, you know, a little bit off for you guys that are delivery customers and 15% off for you guys that are new customers. 
And don't forget to check out our preparewithiridium.com link down below. That is our Food for Patriots link. They are ready to ship out food. Get yourself four weeks of food, $100 off. Good for 25 years. Put it away, set it, and forget it. As long as you got water, you can rehydrate it. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.